When our worst fears suddenly come to pass, we may find ourselves facing challenges that test our will to survive. I'm William Shatner. Tonight, true stories of desperate moments and bonds that will never be broken on Rescue 911. We begin on the cold and blustery afternoon of March 8, 1993, near Columbia, South Carolina, where a couple of experienced windsurfers were out on Lake Monticello despite a wind chill temperature of 28 degrees. You see the big waves and the swells and the water busting up across. This was like the typical perfect windsurfing session. Hey, how you doing? Well, you guys really moving out out there, aren't you? Robert Cothran had been windsurfing for more than seven years. I see this man, and I can tell he's in tree. And that's why he kind of approached me, and we started talking. Make sure you got it on and got it tight. John Jones and his wife were the only other people at the lake that afternoon. They had been waiting for it to calm down enough so they could go fishing. My wife, Goldie, we had been fishing this same lake for five years. She was my number one fishing partner. Also windsurfing that day was Robert's friend, David Kilman. I noticed this boat was hitting out. I knew the waters were rough, and I thought they must know what they're doing. At a certain point, it just got a little too rough. And I told my wife, I says, we're going to turn around and go back. The whole way, they just killed the engine. Occasionally, I would come back in to the shore and I would rest and I would hear these faint noises and I would look out in the water and couldn't distinguish where these noises were coming from. When we continued, I held on to her for a long time and I think I got so cold I didn't realize that she wasn't there anymore. Help! 